The Minister for Energy, Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe, says the prepared government's energy transition framework will aid Ghana to attain its agenda on cleaner energy by 2070, leveraging on domestic resources. The minister said the document will be opened for public dialogue to be further fine-tuned. The minister was addressing matters on Ghana's energy transition at the University of Ghana's 75th anniversary public lecture in Accra. The 75th anniversary public lecture of the University of Ghana was on the topic Energy Transitions, Reflections on the State of Ghana's Oil and Gas Industry. The university decided to highlight the energy sector because of its importance to the economy. Between 2013 and 2021, the oil and gas sector contributed an average of 4.5% to Ghana's gross domestic product GDP out of about 20 subsectors. In 2021, domestic gas formed about 85% of Ghana's gas demand for power generation. Key players in the energy space attended the lecture. Delivering the keynote lecture, the chief executive of the Ghana Petroleum Commission, Mr. Egbert Fabo, called for the establishment of renewable energy institutions to train local experts instead of continuously engaging expatriates. To ensure that there are no skill gaps as Ghana transitions, I call for the immediate establishment of a world-class institute in Ghana to be known and called the National Institute of Petroleum and Renewable Energy Studies. What we have witnessed over the years since we started oil production, commercial oil production of oil and gas is that EMP companies find our technical and vocational institutions not up to the bill in training our young men and women to take up roles in the action sector. It is contended that our institutions do not provide applied training for our youth to qualify them to work on FPSOs and also with oil field services companies operating in Ghana. What we need is such an institution to provide applied training in oil field qualifications. The call to add renewable energy to such an institute is that it will result in the training of many technicians and thereby save Ghana from bringing in expatriate technicians to the for our use when the transition is fully on at great cost to us. The Energy Minister, Dr. Matthew Pukuprempe, among other issues, spoke about collaboration with other countries for the production of cleaner fuels in the country. Ghana's National Energy Transition Framework from 2020 to 2070. We hope that Ghana would have fully attained the use of clean forms of energy by 2020, 2070. Resources not from outside Ghana but exactly all the resources that God has given us in this country. It is a blueprint for what we want to do in this country on all the sectors that needs to migrate or transition from their fossil-based fuel to clean energy. All speakers at the lecture welcomed the development of the Energy Transition Framework document and have called for more engagement to have the buy-in of stakeholders and make the document easy to implement.